In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert a CGI file format into a JPEG file format. This Imena Florissant's image is currently in a CGI format and I have used the Carl Zeiss Genlight software to open the image. In case this software is unavailable or not installed in your computer, the CGI image can be still opened using Image JFG software. If you have the Image JFG software, you can launch the software or you can download it from the website as shown in the screen below. Once the Image J software is ready, open the CGI file of your choice. To do this, click on File, Open, and select the CGI file format of your choice. Once the Open button is clicked, this dialog box pops up. At this stage, we would like to keep all the options in its default state except the color mode. In the color mode drop-down, there are various options that can be selected according to the desired output. To convert the CGI image directly into a JPEG file, the color mode has to be changed into composite. After selecting composite, click on OK. Now the CGI file has been opened using ImageJ software. The next step is to save this file into a JPEG format. To do this, click on File, Save As, and then select the format of your choice. For this tutorial, let us select JPEG. At this point, the file name can be renamed, and then click Save. Sometimes, you may want to save the images after splitting the image into distinct individual channel colors for example the red green and the blue separately to do this open the cgi file by clicking on file open and select the file in this dialog box change the color mode to colorize and check on the split channels and then click ok now the merge image has been split into three different channel colors. These individual images can now be saved in a JPEG format. To do this, click on the images individually and save them in a JPEG format. For instance, the red channel image can be saved by clicking on File, Save as, JPEG, rename the file according to your choice and then click Save. Similarly, the green and the blue channel can be saved and converted into JPEG format. If you have installed the image JFG a long time ago, probably it is a good idea to update the plugin and also get the latest version of the software itself. Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comments section below.